Now, the analyses that we have shown so far in this lesson assume that the data are normally distributed. But what if they're not? What if the data are not normally distributed? Can you still use the statistical method to help you analyze the differences in the values from the different treatments, say, of growth? Uh, the answer is yes. And what you need to do is to use a non-parametric method. And I'm going to show you a non-parametric method that's called the Kruskal-Wallis test. And it's the non-parametric uh, counterpart to one-way analysis of variance. And again, being non-parametric, it's not going to make any assumptions about the distribution of the results. Now, what we're going to do when we do a non-parametric test is we're going to assume, we're going to analyze the rank orders of the data set. So assume there are no differences, say, between the three different growth values. Uh, if that was the case, then the rank of any one of these values, the order in which the growth appeared, would be independent of the treatments, and they'd be just randomly scattered about. So I'm going to show you something about the ranks of, these, of the uh, data in this data set. Excel has a function called rank. And the rank value uh, looks at a set of data, and it tells you the rank of any individual member of that data set relative to the rest of the members of the set. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, look at the rank of the growth value in this cell, and we're going to compare it to the rank values of all the data in the data set. So we'll select this, and we'll select all the data in the data set. And I'm now going to press the function key F4. And when I do that, it makes this an absolute reference. So that means that when I copy the uh, formula in this cell down, the cell that it refers to will change, but the set of data that it refers to will not change. So that's going to give me just what I'm after. And the order, um, this is really not necessary, but uh, it's going to tell you something about ascending or descending. I'll put in a 1 uh, just to give me the order and ascending values. And now I'm going to copy the uh, formula down through all the other cells. And just take a look at the rankings here. And since the data are sorted by treatment, we can look and see uh, by eye just what the rankings seem to tell us. And what they're telling me is that treatment number 2 appears to have the lowest ranked values. Treatment number three appears to have the highest values, and treatment number one produces growth values that are ranked somewhere between uh, the values in treatments two and three. So that's what my gut's telling me. But let's look at the Kruskal-Wallis test to see statistically if the uh, results match what I'm feeling in my gut from just this casual view. So go to many tab. And again, we're going to look at growth by treatment. We'll go to the stat menu. And the Kruskal-Wallis test is called a non-parametric test. So we're going to go down to the non-parametrics. And we're going to pick Kruskal-Wallis. And the response we're interested in is growth. And the factor we're interested in is treatment. There are no other options in the Kruskal-Wallis test, so I'll just click OK. Now, the Kruskal-Wallis test is looking at uh, ranks, as we said, and it shows us that the mean rank of treatment 1 is 7.7, .7, treatment 2 is the lowest at 4.3, and treatment 3 is the highest at 12.7. So that's consistent with what my gut is telling me, but what we need is a statistic to tell me whether or not these are actually real. The hypothesis being tested with Kruskal-Wallis relates to the median. So the central tendency is the median or the 50-50 split, uh, not the mean. So ANOVA is looking at means, Kruskal-Wallis is looking at medians. The p-values are 0.013, so that's less than 0.05. So we conclude that the medians are different between the three p uh, between the three treatments. The p-value in the uh, ANOVA was 0.003, so this one is about four times as big. 
That's because the non-parametric methods are less powerful than parametric methods. And if the assumptions are met, we prefer to use the parametric methods because of that greater power. But nonetheless, the conclusion is the same. There are differences, and the meaning rank tells us which groups are different from one another.